Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Where we left off, I believe we helped out with Gareth, uh, Nasana, and Gohoku, and well, we're going to be helping out our squad, because they have some personal goals that we want to achieve. Garrus needs us to help him find Dr. Saleon, and Rex needs us to find his family armor. So first, we're going to go to uh, help out Garrus. And we'll want to go to, let's see, I believe it would be up right here, Kepler Verge. And I believe we needed to go to Herschel, is it? Yep. And we'll check out the other place. We can also try out our new weapons too. That's gonna be exciting. Because they are definitely very OP. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Gohoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Uh-oh. That is not good at all. Well, guess we might need to help him out. We gotta help out Garrus, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow, is there really nothing else here? Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Alright, back out. There we go. So Cerberus, huh? Kind of a red flag to name it after a guard dog from hell. Alright. Let's head in. Dr. Hearts, though, huh? Alright, let's bring Garrus and have Liara with us. Dude. Let's get my pistol out. Yeah, this is gonna do some serious damage. Alright, this is very empty. Take cover! Nice shot, Garrus. Man, what the hell are these things, though? Negative contact, Shepard. Who knows? But we leveled up, and I'm going to work on more of my Spectre training. So now we have Unity. We can revive dead squad members now. I can't believe it took this long <laughs> to finally have the ability to do that. But hey, Garrus is maxed out on his assault rifle, and now we're gonna work on assault training to improve his weapon damage. Let's also have a look at our. Yeah, we got. We're good on tungsten. 
My sniper rifle, though, could use some better shredder rounds. Let's see. Gary for carry. <laughs> Yeah, it'll take those shred rounds. Let's give him that sniper rifle since it's better in every way. Open this up. Nothing back here. What's behind this door? Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Salion's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. What a bitch. Got some more armor. There you go, Garrus. Reduce this, reduce that, take, and let's go grab this stuff as well. Ooh, and there was wetware. We will want this. They tend to have either Omni Tools or Biotic Amps. Which is crucial for uh, making our little Asari stronger. Alright, well, looks like we're done here. Check out the other planet. Like that other system. Let's go to Newton. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Alright, 
Got more matriarch writings. Gas deposit. Okie doke. So, former Alliance scientists are being murdered. Let's go to Antaram. We'll get Caden and Garrus. I mean, not Garrus, Rex. Fuck. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll cut to when I got all the uh, minerals. Yeah, but first, let's get that. Let's get that uh, mountain out of the way. It's so close. Go. Sure, we can do that game. There's the anomaly. We got some bugs. Gross. Gross bugs. Alright, let's go check this thing out. It's a Turian corpse. We got another insignia. Alright. I'll cut so when I get the minerals. Hmm. What's with that cow? Heading out. Ugh. Hmm. How weird. But what the fuck? You bitch! Set my credits, will you? Deal with the rest of your family, too. They're all thieves. They must die. Alright. I'm content. I'm, I'm satisfied. Let's get the other. I'm being shot at! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab this thing first. I'll be with you guys in a minute. Okay, now then. Where were we? guys doing shooting at us we <laughs> I got one more guy There we go. Deal with her. This isn't good. We got some bodies here.
That's gonna be some good Turian armor. Too bad I can't give it to him. <laughs> Caden's already got it. He's got the right. He's got a better gun anyway. Is he gonna tell? Oh uh, no. What can I get then? Nothing, because I'm way too powerful. All right, let's work on your lift. And Rex will max these out. There we go. I guess we'll work on your combat armor next. Right down there. You must die. Ah, <laughs> uh, you sure about that, lady? <laughs> oh, get fucked. <laughs> oh, man, that was beautiful. All right, let's work on these lockers. There we go. Take all these. Was there a crate that I missed? I feel like I missed a crate. I'll look around, double check to make sure I got it, got everything out in this room. Aha, I knew it. There we go, and we finally got armor for Rex, but is it any good? Yeah, it is. There you go, Rex. Can't believe it took this long. Usually it's a lot more common. Go through there. I guess we'll go through here. Stay back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please. He's a madman. Mr. Toombs, you're insane. You need help. It's Corporal. Corporal Toombs. You don't get to lie. Not today. Today it all comes out. What all comes out? I'm listening. But I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see the Tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So are you going to kill me or not? If you have the sole survivor background, 
this exchange is a lot more different with how he talks to you because he was part of your unit and when you have the sole survivor background you don't have the option to shoot him you're better than this tombs you're not like them don't tell me what I am nobody knows who I am those bastards took it all away they ran their tests until I screamed until I cried I couldn't remember my own name half the time I should be dead like my unit I'm nothing why am I too good to murder him you put on a uniform corporal you swore an oath don't let them take that from you hadn't thought of it like that Okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Tomb stares morosely at the floor. Lost in his memories, you give the scientist a shove towards the door. The mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh crap! Oh crap! <laughs> I've never seen that happen! I've never seen that happen! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm- Oh, holy shit! I fucking slid all the way down! I'm glad I'm recording this! Holy shit! Holy shit! That was beautiful! I gotta clip it too! Oh my god! That was fucking amazing! Oh shit, this fucking game. You see why the Mako is just so ridiculous? God. I have so many- hold on, how many hours do I have? I got at least 500 hours on this fucking game. Yeah, I got 452.8 hours on this game according to Steam. And I've never had that happen to me. Whew, oh my god. That's incredible. <laughs> Let's just go. Go to my fucking. Oh shit. Uh, hold on. I need a moment. That was fucking hard. Oh my god. Okay. Let's let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. I've never seen that dude. Never in a million years. My god. Okay. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Tomb seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Whew, okay. Well, let me back out. Alright, next, we are, well, we're actually going to take a quick detour, because there is something I want to show off that not many people would really know about. We're going to go back to the Attican Beta Cluster and go back to Hercules. We've already been here, I know, but there is something we can do here now. There is a little thing you can do that, honestly, there not a whole lot of people know about. At least I don't think a lot of people know about it. So yeah. back on Elatania. 
and we are gonna go to the Prothean Ruin. We just gotta climb all the way up to the top. So, when we first interacted with it, it didn't really tell us much. It just said that we don't really have anything that could fit into a little slot. So, it's possible that we will never know what really happens really in it. However, because we helped the Elcor diplomat, the consort was given a trinket. And the trinket was given to us. And that trinket will be enough to fit right in. I just gotta get up there. Come on, you bastard. Get up. There we go. Okay. Alrighty then. We made it to the Prothean Ruin. Because we have Rex wearing the survivor. Okay, never. Oh, I forgot. I didn't bring Rex with me. Never mind. All right. So we interact. Examining the strange protein artifact reveals a small irregular slot on the other side. Remember the strange, tr the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the Citadel. Pull it out and place it in the slot. The ball explodes in a bright flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain in a small lump on the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. The sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you've seen hunt them by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it, it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. The ascended is watching you, studying you. Raise a hairy fist. You shake your spear at it in anger. The creature rises up quickly until it disappears from your view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves with the rest of the tribe. You fall into a familiar pattern of life. Hunts for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against their other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. All these times, your hand grows, goes into a strange lump at the back of your skull, or the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range farther for food. Clutches the fur, clutches the fur tight against you to ward off the chill. It is one of these long hunts that strange, strange bird returns. Hear it before you see it. They call, it's call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You wake an instant later and find yourself on Elatania lying on your back, hooded artifacts looming above you on damage and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light. The sword toppled over. One explains, Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. No answer right away. Wondering at the implication of what you have seen. Memories of, the crow, of a crow magnet hunter. Captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you would finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. So, that is suggesting that the Protheans were studying humanity. Interesting. And what is this about a big silver bird with a red eye who knows I don't so yeah hold on I'm gonna go pull up the guide again we're gonna help out Rex let's see I believe we had to go to Argos Row which is hold 
that's that's uh there we go. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna zoom out. Let's see, Argos Row. It was there. We're gonna go to Phoenix. Scan these planets, like always. Get any value we can, get the Prothean disc, Silisalto, Vevenok. I believe that is all we can get here. I'm gonna go back. Let's go into the mission. Back to Chun Tao. All right, let's go. We gotta bring Rex with us for this mission. So let's get him and Caden with us. I'll cut to when I get all the minerals. Okay, we're back. Let's go get this anomaly. It's like some kind of pyramid. And we see a crashed sky car Got with it. a burned corpse. And a sorry corpse. Unfortunate. Alright. Well, there's the map. You can go pause that real quick so you can see where all the all the minerals are. Now we gotta go to a possible base. That may, ugh, that may have Rex's family armor. Just go down this mountain. We're fine. Actually, I should check my equipment real quick, see what I can put on my gun. Increase his weapon over here. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna catch. Never mind. Yeah, I climb on over. And head on to the base. your friend into a pile of ashes too. Alright, let's head inside. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. Let's go get your armor then, Rex. <laughs> Ha! 
now. Now I'm ready. There's Tonactus. Yes, let's. You want to do the honor? Oh, you already lost your biotics. Never mind. He is down and out. Uh, you gonna go, go, go! Be okay, buddy. Nope, nope, nope. Go get a level up. Commando, there we go. It's back to training. There we go. Let's work on Caden with his lift. And Rex, we'll work on. Eh, let's do both. Both fitness and combat armor. They're right above. Well, except you. Go, go, go! Line. Got him. Sniping for you today, sir. Ow, bullshit. All right. Area secured. Well, that was bullshit. How'd he get me? Ah, who cares? We got him. Go back and grab the armor. Get a technician kit. Grab this. Grab the. Well, I'm gonna reduce these. And more of these to reduce. Grab the wetware. Apply that to uh, Rexy. Can't do shit with those heavy armor, but okay, never mind. <laughs> I stand corrected. Oh yeah, we had. Oh wait, no, we don't have broken armor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna give Rex the Polaris. Let's open this. is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression? Thoughtful, perhaps? Broken or hard to read. And he shakes his, shakes off his amusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. All right, we got Rex's quest done. We haven't checked the second floor uh, thing, so we gotta go see what we can get in there. And you know, make sure there's no hidden goodies. Like back there. Let's open this crate. Another Turian armor, that actually looks like it'll be good. Open this. Oh boy. This is gonna be hard. Oh, I almost had it. 
No, I got stuck. Bullshit. All right, let's restart it. Mulligan. Oh my god. There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was so much harder than it had any right to be. <laughs> Man. Well, by the way, this area is done, and we dealt with Taun Actus. Let's get out of here. We're going to talk with the crew. I want to see if Caden wants to talk though, because I feel like maybe he does. Unless there's another, like I have to do another major mission. I haven't entirely figured it out. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the Stonewall that you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. When their L2 flare up. Anything I can do? No, Commander, it'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak. So they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else in Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. This is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Huh. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go give Garrus that armor. Yeah! There you go, homie. Looking slick. Uh, would Liara like this, maybe? No? Okay. That's fair. Let's go sell this junk. Looking for supplies? Let's see if we can get anything new. There we go. Now then. Krogan heavy armor. 
Would that be good for Rex? 44, 182, 14. Let's check. Okay, 44, 182, 18. Yeah, it would be immeasurably better. Looking for supplies? Yeah, we're gonna get it. There's also the terminal armor, but I don't think I can afford it. Unfortunately. Can I get that for Liara? Nah, it won't be nearly as good. Okay, let's give Rex the armor. It's gonna look so girly, but it's gonna be better. <laughs> Just that br like big white and pink armor. Now that's a tough looking Krogan right there. Looking for supplies? Alright, let's go sell this. Bam. And let's go talk with Garrus. See if he wants to talk about anything. Commander, I what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the council might be protecting Saren. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. Alright, now let's go talk with the Rex. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time, I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right. 
Does Tally want to talk? It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. We haven't done a single mission. <laughs> it won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Well, that was sweet. And I think that's the last time we'll be talking with Tally, because she doesn't really have much else to say. For now. Alright, let's go back up. And we're gonna call it apart. Oh boy. I think next time we'll be dealing with uh, more Cerberus shenanigans. Because, well, yeah. Well, we also should take care of stuff in Argos Row as well. So we'll be doing that. And yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys when we do more planet exploring and stuff. I'm just glad I could cut a lot of it out, because Halfbit is just looking for minerals. <laughs> I'll see you guys then.